Good afternoon, guys. It's Matt with Sith Bricks. Uh, finished up another bag, uh, so I'll go ahead and show it to you. Um, I just took care of bag eight, uh, which flushed out the back end of the destroyer. All the engine detail and everything is done. I'll sh show that to you here in a second. Um, this was actually a kind of a nice build. It was there's a lot of small pieces. There was some technical stuff, some some you know the one by one studs that I had to put on. So. That's the kind of stuff I like, so I was really happy that I finally got to a bag that had this in, in a decent amount of time. Um, so it was good. I'm um, glad to have it done. Uh, the back half of the... It actually looks pretty amazing, even though it's kind of held together, not all that great. Um, but I'm going to show that more in a little bit of detail here in a second. Uh, but this, the MVP, came in super handy here, and I'm going to show you why uh, here in a second. All right, so you heard me talk about the MVP and how it was crucial. So these little guys right here on each side... Um, there, it's a push rod. It's like a black push rod. It's about an inch and a quarter long. And that has to slide in there. Well, you can't kind of, you can kind of see it here. I'm going to see if I get my finger in there, but it's got to slide through this, this bucket here, this barrel, those two pieces back there. And then another piece behind it, uh, in order to seat these flush. Now with your hands, you can only get it in a little bit of the way, but I busted out the MVP and I used the Technic pusher there, that little plus sign where my thumb's at. It's fl flipping right there. And pushing that down, and I'm going to show you a picture here in a second. And that is what allowed me to get those seated in flush. Pushing those in by hand was very, very hard to do. It was almost painful. Um, so that's where the MVP came in super, super handy. Additionally with this one, one thing I don't like about this is with the big engines here. So... These big engines, they're kind of on flimsy. They're not actually like Lego attached to anything. Again, there's a yellow push rod that's behind all this blue right here where my finger's at. And it goes in through this, this circle here and this back one here, and it marries up right there and sits there. These two pieces are not connected in any way at all. So that makes me a little nervous that these aren't on more secure. Uh, so, but granted, this is a display piece. I'm not going to be flying around the neighborhood with it as much as I want to. This is something that I'm going to display and encase, um, and go from there. But I just noticed that about that, and it was kind of odd. Uh, then, what really had me nervous is I finished my build, and I had this many extra pieces left over. So then I had to relook over the instructions again and be like, why did I have all these extra pieces? Well, it turns out, I guess they were a little heavy-handed in the bags, and I didn't need them. So that was pretty cool to get a lot of extra pieces. It was nerve wracking at first, but I rechecked my instructions and I just got lucky. Lastly, this thing on the inside straight up looks like a McDonald's Happy Meal with all these colored bricks on the inside. Uh, again, it's gonna be covered, but I just have issues with all of these colored bricks on the inside. It just looks really chintzy to me and I just don't really care for it. And I just had to show you, it's almost, uh, comedic at this point with how many colors are inside of this thing um now like i said it's going to be covered but it's just weird to me so at any rate that covers bag eight i'm going to get started on bag nine here soon which i think is going to help flush out the bottom part of the destroyer here uh get that all taken care of before we start building the top plate but we'll see so thanks for watching uh stay tuned and i'll have the next video up shortly